I'm Michael Fox, and this is the Prospector News Podcast, and we're on location at the Critical Trends in Mining Finance Conference that's being put on by the New York chapter of the uh, SME. And joining me, I have uh, Brody Sutherland, who's the CEO of Talk Van Ventures. Welcome, Brody. Thanks, Michael. Good to see you again. Yes, it's good. To, it's been a while. Yeah. Now, you had a... Well, before we get started on that, let's... Uh, for those that don't know what TalkVan is, let's uh, give them the 10,000-foot uh, uh, view of the company. Yeah, TalkVan is a gold and silver exploration and development company focused in Sonora, Mexico. We have two projects there. Our more advanced asset is called Pilar. We're actually doing a bulk sample on that right now to show that you can extract the gold and silver. And our other asset is called Picacho. That's earlier stage, but we just drilled there in December and hit mineralization for the first time with a new discovery there. So, um, yeah, really proud of what we built so far and looking forward to the future. Yes, I've been following the news quite closely. You had a very productive 2022, uh, checked a lot of boxes in moving things forward. Tell me, uh, tell me about the year that was 2022. It's been a while since we've talked. For sure. You know, it's... Definitely for the company, a very exciting year. Uh, unfortunately for the market, not so great, but that's okay. You know, I think that sets us up for even better uh, 2023 and beyond. Uh, but really what, what set us apart, I think, in 2022 is we continued to drill at Pilar, where we kind of rediscovered uh, a deposit there that's right at surface. It's gold, silver. We see broad, low-grade mineralization, but also high-grade mineralization on structures there. Uh, we drilled 117 meters of 1.2 grams per ton gold. And to put that into context, a lot of the producing open pit mines around us are averaging around 0 0.6, 0 0.7 grams per ton gold. So good to see those values there. We stepped out from what we call our main zone and drilled in a new area, discovering a brecciated zone at depth but tying together a broader zone, 108 meters of 0.8 grams per ton gold, uh, showing that there's more to be discovered there. We then did a more aggressive step out program, uh, stepping out 600 meters from all known mineralization. We hit uh, another parallel zone 325 meters away. We hit there again, and this is all open for us. Uh, you know, the southeastern half of the project has never been drilled. And so it's setting us up nicely for that. Uh, but really what we wanted to start to do is, is showcase the metallurgy. So we've been slowly advancing that, and that's gone us to the point where we are today with the bulk sample at Pilar. Uh, but again, going back to 2022, uh, we wanted to drill our other project, Picacho, for the first time. Uh, historically, had seen very little drilling, little evaluation. And to really set that project up, it's 18 kilometers away from the San Francisco mine which is an open pit development. They've extracted a million ounces of it so far. There's two million ounces still contained in the ground. We see very similar geology and structure at Picacho. Uh, when San Francisco was discovered, it uh, was done by Fresneo. They initially defined 400,000 ounces of two grams per ton gold. Uh, for them, that wasn't big enough. Uh, so it, it got changed hands a few times, but the prospect of finding you know, something of that size and bigger, really our target there is multi-million ounce, but to have significant grades and be oxide gold and silver, so very low cost to extract those metals, uh, you know, gives us a lot of excitement going forward with it. So we drilled Picacho for the first time in December, all close to surface, really starting from old historic workings and we hit mineralization there, which is extremely significant. And so we'll be going back periodically to continue to evaluate Picacho, but really the standout for us is Pilar. And because of that balance between the projects, you know, we've been able to attract financing to keep us going. So you know, we're very happy to have a family fund involved that's uh, been very supportive for us and will continue to be uh, for the future here. Um, but again, as gold is starting to perform again and, and show a shift of sentiment towards it and silver, uh, we think we're in a really good position here. Yes, definitely. And it's good to be he tightly held with family offices as well. It keeps the, the share prices from taking those big swings. What I also liked is the old fact that somebody's trash is somebody else's treasure. 
just because that wasn't big enough for Fresno doesn't mean it's not big enough for an operator like yourself. For sure. I mean, that's really what we want to take advantage of is, you know, we have a track record of dusting off old deposits that were thought to be too small or were poorly understood and going back and reevaluating those. And um, yeah, we're, we're excited about the future. You know, we've got an excellent team in Mexico and that's allowed us to be successful there. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing what else we can uh, put together. So looking forward, 2022 is behind, behind us. We had good success. Uh, going forward, what's the plans for 2023? Yeah, really our focus right now is that bulk sample at Pilar. So we've extracted 1,400 tons of material from Pilar at surface. Uh, this was evaluated through trenching and channel sampling to identify that material. Uh, we've now moved it over to a test facility site that's close by. Another benefit of being in, in Sonora is there's mines everywhere, so that helps. Um, and we've crushed all that material. It's now stacked, and we're starting the leaching process to essentially evaluate on a smaller scale uh, what a mine-type process would look like and showing that we can actually recover that gold and silver, uh, which we're quite confident we can. We've done some preliminary studies with the metallurgy that's suggesting that most of the gold and silver upwards uh, and beyond 90 percent is free so it's not tied to anything else uh, which makes that metallurgy very simplified and gives us confidence that we can extract it with that heat leach process but also gives us the opportunity to evaluate uh, other methods of recovery like gravity so we're going to be evaluating that as well so we've taken about 800 tons of the material crushed that it's on the pile it's being heat leached right now uh, the remainder of that material and the fine fraction from that crushing uh, we're evaluating with gravity processes to do a comparison and then we'll use that information to submit an application for actual mine development which is another opportunity of being in Sonora, Mexico is that with that information we can submit a permit to develop and it takes about a year once you submit that application to get it back. So for us, the bulk sample is a huge catalyst showing the grade, the recovery there, and then moving towards permit application, which will be a big catalyst for us. But while we're in the interim waiting for that to come back, we're going to be drill evaluating. We know we have a lot of targets at Pilar. We want to go back. There's some infill drilling we want to do. Uh, define a first resource estimate there. There's never been one done in the past. And then going back to Picacho, the other project where we had a recent discovery, and we've got six kilometers of trend there to explore and evaluate, and we really like what we see on surface. So we'll be excited to continue to drill there. And uh, yeah, just looking forward to the year. It's gonna be busy. Yeah. Sky, sky's the limit and it's good and it's good to be, you know, have a good plan. Is the plan funded for 2023? We are funded right now through to June of 2024. And, uh, you know, we'll definitely, we've always in the past raised capital when we need it for a certain purpose and not never too much. We always want to raise, use that capital, add share value and raise at a higher level when we can. And we've been successful for the most part in doing that. And that's you know, kept our share structure intact. We've been around for four years. We still have under 40 million shares issued, which is a rare thing to see. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll continue to evaluate what makes sense for us in, in the future here for um, additional capital, but we're very confident and comfortable with where we're at. Oh, that's good. So the metal, uh, the metrology test, I can never spit that one out. That was a tongue tie tire for me. Um, those results are due approximately when? You know, we've uh, been rolling out kind of preliminary results as we go here. We did a diagnostic leach study we put out last month, which is showing some encouraging results. Uh, we expect the final from the heat leach processing later in June. And that's actually going to have us, you know, recovering gold and silver and be able to show that, um, which is quite significant. Uh, but in between now and then, you know, we expect to get uh, results out. We've basically tested what we think the head grade is going to be. So those results are pending. But again, what we're seeing in the pre preliminary results is that 
Uh, that grade is looking to be uh, above 1.5 grams per ton gold with about 10 grams per ton silver, which again, if you look at our regional comparables, is, is looking really nice. So um, we'll have consistent news flow leading up and also as we continue to evaluate that material. Um, and then that's going to lead us into uh, future drilling. Perfect. Uh, and the drill program start when? Uh, we want to get back drilling as quick as we can. Um, you know, I think it's, we'll see how, where we're at exactly. Uh, we want to go back to Pilar and channel sample all the trenches we've opened up from the bulk sample. And uh, so that's going to be priority one for us. And then go back and drill using that information as well. Um, so we'll see on exact timing, but uh, I'm hopeful in the next few months we'll be uh, very active on the with the drill campaigns on both projects. Wonderful. Thank you very much for joining me today. If people want to uh, follow your company and learn more about what you're doing and, uh, and the news flow, how would they do so? Yeah, you can go to our website, talkvan.com, T-O-C-V-A-N. Uh, you can go on social media, Twitter, LinkedIn. We're quite active on uh, Talkvan Ventures. You can follow us there. And uh, you can reach out to us. There's on our website and through social media, uh, there's links to connect with our IR and with myself directly. So please reach out, stay in contact. And uh, yeah, we look forward to keeping everyone updated as we progress. Wonderful. Thanks again, Brody. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate it. The Prospector News Podcast is for educational purposes only. The opinions expressed are those of the participants and are not to be taken as investment advice. Listeners need to do their own due diligence and seek advice of a licensed investment advisor.